This is M R D R the third, Mr. Doctor the third. Hit it. Well, what do you do when it's been more than a month and you're just sitting around with your thumb, just looking at it, saying, thumb, what should I do? Well, I'm back from California a long, long time now. And well, while we were there, we played some guitar on the beach in Santa Cruz with frequent frequent guest and collaborator, Ryan Tully, otherwise known as AKA The Sad Clown, AKA Whitey Bogart, AKA Blind Rhino Dino. He's been on the show a bunch. Without more of me, here's some more for you of Ryan Tully. Toodaloo! God, what are these three things that I'm guaranteed to see? On the beach and the sun and the moon and the sand and the sea. And I said, God, I'm not a smart boy, but I wasn't born at night. I was born at night, but not last night. I said, God, give me three wishes I'm from. So Don't be calling my number ever again. What the fuck's wrong with you? Breaking news. 
Forgot to add, Don Mecca was there on the beach in Santa Cruz with us too. You'll even hear him sing on this one. sleepy and there is no place I'm going to well, you know what that sounds like closer I am to If I could teach the world to sing just one darn thing, it'd be love is all you need by the Beatles, and I don't know if I could do it. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, there's no place that I'm going to. Hey, Tambourine man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy, and there is no place I'm going to. Hey, Mr. Tambourine man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy, and there is no place I'm going to. Mr. Bojangles was 93 years old when he wrote this song. It's a song that you know how to sing. How about, uh... uh... And now, we had an interview with Whitey Bogart, a.k.a. Ryan Tully, a few missions ago. I edited the F out of it and chopped it to S, and it didn't make much sense. So, for all your sakes, to know that we are not saying here is the unedited audio of that interview. Kiki, kiki, kiki. Yo. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the show. We got a great guest for you known as Anonymous. He may, he or she may reveal their identity. How are you, Anonymous? Yo, I'm doing good. Actually, yeah, I'm I'm happy to reveal my identity. That's, that's yes. Go ahead. My name is Whitey Bogart. Whitey Bogart, thank you, sir, for coming on. Uh, can I call you sir? Are those your pronouns you use? He, her, him. Absolutely. All he, right. he, him, her. Universal. Got it. Universal Got it. Universal being. So you are a blues guitar player, correct? That is. Correct, sir. Got, let's hear some a little guitar. Do we got to check a level? Let's see. Thank you. 
time. Sounding good, sounding good, Whitey Bogart. So, uh, <laughs> you told me you had some interesting, interesting experience this week. Do you want to uh, tell us what what you did this week? Oh man, well, this week I was, I was going to, to skip it entirely, but I ended up going for the first Moderna vaccine uh, injection, uh-huh. which was very. Uh, unsettling also i guess you know there were some positives i would say but also had some side effects from going down to get to your first dose of the moderna vaccine uh this week huh yeah huh. That's pretty cool. so what were you had some side effects you said well initially right away i got really dizzy and nauseous and sleepy and kind of wanted i felt like i was gonna faint for a second but then like I was like, come on, come on, Whitey, get it together. <laughs> come on, Whitey. Come on, Whitey. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on, Whitey, you can do this. You, you don't want to be embarrassed in front of the in front of the elder, in front of the old folks, you know? Oh, man. So. so who, was it a man or a woman that gave you the shot? Actually, it was, a, oh. it was fucking cool as hell. Like, I was, you know, it felt nice to like, because, you know, in the, throughout the pandemic, we've had such little human contact. And oh yes, a mask yes. creates a psychological barrier, you know. Yes, yes, because people could be saying, "I love you, I love you, I love you," or "I hate you, I hate you, I hate you," with their <laughs> mouths. Yeah, it's like yeah, and you sometimes yeah. like so many times you know, I wanted to talk to people on the street, and then I didn't because of the mask. It creates this whole like, you know, psychologically, I'm like, oh, I can't talk to people because we're all you know afraid. So who's doing the ventriloquist act now is what I want to know. Now is the perfect time. If you're a middle end of shitty ventriloquist, now, or actually probably the past year was the best time ever to get your act together as a ventriloquist, right? Because you've got to be masked. Your dummy has to be masked, of course, if your dummy lives in the real world as a ventriloquist <laughs> pretend that they do. I think I could be the world's best ventriloquist right now. Right now. <laughs> But Absolutely. tell us more about the the vaccine. So, what gave you dizziness, faintness, nausea? Um, so you felt like you were going to pass out, basically. It sounds like and just you're sick to your stomach yeah. in a little way. Yeah, pretty much. And also, the main side effect, as Omar back in New York says, uh, is feeling. <laughs> oh, you broke off there. We didn't hear you. you said feeling like what? Uh, feeling like a sheep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. um, why don't you play us? I guess uh, we're taking one for the team. Well, play us how you felt. Give us the blues that you felt. Play us that blues that you felt on being a sheep. Uh, that, uh, if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Bogart. Sure. Last Tuesday, I went down to the vaccine I like that. What kind of guitar are you playing there? Sounds almost like a resonator. Oh, this is a guild. A guild? Six-string guild. Oh, is this the guitar you purchased recently? No, I've had it since I was 17. This is my one and only acoustic guitar. Oh, man, I should play mine now, too. Yeah, man. (laughs) I haven't played my guitar since last November, probably. So probably since the last time I maybe... No, this has actually, been a while. This is a song that Lead Belly made. Famous. All right. You lay it on us. Lay it on us. I'll just do the first chord because I haven't memorized the words yet. Okay. So it starts out like this. Like, come on and take Remember death of all Ellis B.
the gist of it. I haven't learned the words yet. Beautiful. It sounds very beautiful. You're doing wonderful things. I was trying to send me that song, the Why Must We Comply, if you would. Um, oh, yeah. A Dropbox link or something. I could put that on the podcast, too. I was trying to save it from the signal, but it just lets me just lets me listen to it. It doesn't let me. I'd have to. Uh, if you, I could do a track that way, but it'd be better to have the, the real track. If you wouldn't mind, I think that'd be a great track to hear. Yeah, definitely. I'll send that to you for sure. Thank yeah, you, a... Whitey Bogart. <laughs> it's good to have you back on the Mr. Doctor Music Mission. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks you might remember me. him from such episodes as uh, Blind <laughs> Rhino Dino. <laughs> or Sul... Sul... Oh, boy. Sul... Sul... Uh, the Clown. I forget the... I, I'm not saying that correctly. What was it? You know, shout out to all my people, all my all my Denver Art Society people, all my Denver, Colorado people. I love you guys, and I miss you. all you. Pe- I haven't seen all these people over in fucking forever, man. Even pre-pandemic times. Mm-hmm. 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 The golden age of Denver. That was a good time, man. Oh yeah, I had to put some links to some YouTube videos. That's that'll be that'll be sweet. Those are yeah, that was fun times, man. I wonder if that if they still got the piano that old piano over there. Well, when I left, there was three pianos. There's one in the basement, one on the main floor, and then one upstairs. So I was piano full of pianos. Yeah, get, gotta get the old band back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we shall, we shall. If only in spirit, if only in spirit, we shall. Yeah, hell we yeah. shall put aside our differences for one more day. <laughs> yes, most definitely. Yes, yes. Right on. Well, uh, I would love to play this next song for you, and I'm going to have faith that it'll happen this way. Coming okay. up now is "Why Must We Comply," and Mr. Bogart, I will talk to you soon. If you want to give me a call back on the the DL signal or the FB Messi or any other Twitter skitter. <laughs> right now but for now I'm going to sign off from the Mr. Dr. Music Mission and we love you guys so much and thank you for right listening and thank you Whitey Bogart and uh, anything else you want to say before I shut it down uh, peace everybody